Ah ne, er hat die Axt noch. Alles klar, ich dachte, er hat die da draußen liegen gelassen. Aber er hat sie noch, alles klar. Scheiße, Mann. Das wird jetzt alle anlocken. Alle im Umkreis von ein paar hundert Metern. Dann ist die Kacke richtig am Dampfen. Sehr gut. Gib das her, gib das her. Na, der wird nicht lange halten. Oh, scheiße. Duck, Alter. Oh, nein. Nein. Ja, toll. Jetzt darf ich mich entscheiden, wahrscheinlich. Frauen und Kinder zuerst. Vielleicht kann sie die anderen erschießen und Duck helfen. Nein! Ah. Oh mein Gott! Ah. Tut mir leid, Duck, Alter. Wir haben Duck. Wir haben Duck. Wir haben Lass sie los! Miststück. Jetzt auf, los! Weg hier! Was? Larry, du verdammter! Will der mich verarschen oder was? Oh, Kenny! Oh, Alter, danke! Especially a good friend. Yeah, super. Mach zu, das scheiß Ding. Oh. Was, was? Hä? Larry, Alter, was läuft mit dem? Der wollte mich umbringen, der Wichser. Alter. Das wird aber noch ein Nachspiel haben, Kumpel. Ich hole dir die Medikamente und das, und das ist der Dank dafür. Aber egal, wir haben es überlebt. Dank Kenny. Oh, der arme Duck. Den haben wir verloren. Oh, 
Aber ich glaube, an anderer Stelle wäre es dann Kali gewesen. Also, das war einfach eine, eine Entscheidung. Sie oder er. Und es geht allen gleich. mit Glenn los. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Warum nicht? Ich meine, das kann ich total verstehen. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hoffen wir es. Die Chancen dafür stehen allerdings nicht so gut. Könnte das der Glenn von der, von der äh, Fernsehserie sein? Der geht jetzt nach Atlanta, vielleicht trifft er dann dort auf Rick. Das könnte schon möglich sein. Dass hier so ein bisschen der Link ähm, versucht wird zu machen. So, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Alter. Close call back there. Der hat mir den Arsch gerettet. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did? Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Wir halten uns jetzt vorerst mal an Kenny, weil ihm vertraue ich dann wirklich. Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> he better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Tja. Du musst immer zuerst einem helfen und dann dem anderen. Das zu entscheiden ist einfach unmöglich in dem Moment. Das ist reine Intuition, denke ich. Larry. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Get out. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Hoffen wir es. Und jetzt ist der, ist der Strom weg. <lacht> Super. Fortsetzung folgt. Nächstes Mal bei The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, we never thought Kenny's kid was bit. You went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! No more, please! Please, please! <laughs> So geht's dann weiter. So. Ein paar Ergebnisse. Aufrichtigkeit. Herschel angelogen. Ähm, ich und 46 andere haben gelogen. Wen würdest du retten? Duck oder Sean? Oh, nur 30% haben sich um Duck gekümmert. Okay, interessant. Ich dachte einfach, es geht ums Kind, deswegen... habe ich mich dann so entschieden. Loyalität auf Kennys Seite. Da war ich jetzt bei der Mehrheit. Ähm, Gnade, Irene, die Waffe gegeben, haben 47%, das ist eigentlich die Hälfte, mehr oder weniger. Und Duck oder Kali, da war ich auch irgendwo in der Mitte, also durchaus vertretbar, <lacht> meine Entscheidungen. Sehr gut. Das war die erste Episode, ein neuer Tag.
das war jetzt ein kurzer Abspann zur Episode 1. Und dann direkt weiter mit Episode 2. Hunger und Hilfe. who you are. I got a good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Das ist passiert in ganz kurzer Form. Drei Monate später. Neues hey, Gesicht. What they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Weil ein Rassist ist wahrscheinlich auch noch. <lacht> ja genau, er ist ein alter Rassistenarsch. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. 
I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. Your bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Man, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. <sighs> we gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. <laughs> Shut us. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. There has to be a way out of this. Stop, stop, stop. Lee, do Please. this. Stop. Can get it open? Get me out of this. Das wird auch nicht klappen wahrscheinlich. Ich glaube, es gibt hier nur eine Möglichkeit. Das bringt Ich muss ihm das Bein abpacken, oder? Nee, ich muss das Bein abschlagen. Oh, Alter. Aber das bringt nichts, der wird verbluten hier, das... Wir müssen gehen, das bringt nichts, komm. Jesus, I need to walk! God damn it! Please, please, please! Yeah, <laughs> den Baum abhacken. Come on, get it off! Lee, are you nuts? Quit fucking around, try something else! Come on, we gotta go, now! No! <laughs> no, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! Uh, I'm sorry. No! We can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Was willst du there? Give it to me! Damn it, Travis! Was zum Teufel? Shit! What happened? He went for the gun! God. Keep moving. Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Wir hätten wenigstens erschießen können.
was für ein Auftakt. Aber was hätte das gebracht, wenn ich ihm das Bein abgehakt hätte? Der wäre verblutet. Das so weit im Wald, das bringt nichts. Aber die hätte ihn wenigstens erschießen können. Episode 2, Hunger und Hilfe. It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, oh, what the hell are they doing? Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You've got nothing to say about that, Lee? You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Toll. Sehr angespannt, das Ganze hier. Aber so ist es halt, wenn Menschen Hunger haben. Ah, schwierige Situation. Ich kann aber auch beide Seiten verstehen, deswegen habe ich, jetzt, habe ich mich jetzt mal rausgehalten aus der Diskussion. Aber wie Kenny gesagt hat, wir müssen wohl früher oder später Partei für jemanden ergreifen. So wie es aussieht, hat momentan Lilly das Sagen hier oder zumindest... Sie und Kenny streiten sich darum, wer das Sagen hat. Mal schauen, wie es weitergeht.